piece on these one-of-a-kind handcrafted porcelain vases give you a peek into the life of potter Stephanie Young. When I sit down to carve a pot, I sort of have this library of images in my head that I can kind of pick from. You'll see lots of plants and bugs and critters, basically nature. The subjects that I was really interested in when I was like this little nerdy kid that was rolling over logs in the woods. Stephanie combines her love of science and nature with an Art Nouveau style. I like from about 1880 to about 1940. That was a really great time, I feel, for art. And I use the stylistic feeling of the, that period and I incorporate that into the work with science motifs um, that are more modern. Her work in such high demand, it's available only at craft shows she travels to around the country, a long way from the first piece of art she ever sold. The very first piece of art I sold was a uh, portrait of a tiger when I was in sixth grade, yes. And you sold it? I did. And in actuality, I later found it in one of my mother's drawers. <laughs> Awful crushing experience. I really, I thought I was going places. Mom's pity purchase aside, Stephanie is well on her way. Collectors with an eye for turn of the century pieces, like the Groobies, the Newcombs, the Rookwoods, are taken with Stephanie's style and buy up all they can. So that's a huge compliment that they're gonna look at my stuff that was finished like five days ago and think that it in some way can hold the space on a shelf next to the really good stuff. That's a huge compliment. Stephanie converted her garage in New Hampshire into a studio where she spends long days fixating on every detail. I'm just wedging up some clay. She starts with a wedge of clay, fancy clay as she calls it, porcelain. Then she throws it on the wheel. where the magic happens. The carving is a meditation. So you, you sketch it on there and um, each little line that you cut leads to the next line and you have to be deeply involved in it. Of all the processes, carving is the most labor intensive. Stephanie's designs are freehand, no stencils, no templates, from the hand, mind, and heart. It's what makes her work so unique. Here, drawing a jellyfish. I do have to cut myself off on occasion because I could just, I could spend months on one piece at this point. Some of Stephanie's secrets lie in the glazing, so she's tight-lipped about her process. Now she's ready to add color, hand-painting dozens of butterflies all over this elaborate vase. Her ideas come not only from her childhood, but also what's right in front of her. Last year was a big year for moths. So literally looking at what was flying up to the light outside on the porch at night. Moths became a theme, her go-to design. Until, that is, she got sick of them. I'm a little mothed out. I am. I'm a little, I've had it with the moths a little bit. Um, moth saturation. Now it's earthworms and octopuses. I have a new uh, octopus design that I'm very excited about. Um, and of course the worms. I may have mentioned the worms and I'd like to mention the worms at least two or three more times during this interview. It's very exciting. <laughs> you don't normally see flowers on Stephanie's pieces, but she found herself in the mood. I just started doing that. They snuck their way in. They really did. I don't know, just maybe the current state of political strife and affairs and angst in the universe, I found myself doing many pieces with flowers. One out of three vases, she tosses. She's her own harshest critic. But as the artist, you see literally hundreds of mistakes in each and every piece, and I will not point them out to you unless you ask. And then 
You hope that it perhaps sells so then you have the opportunity to work out those mistakes on the next one. No one else seems to notice, willing to pay up to $450 for the larger, more decorated vases. And on occasion, Stephanie will even surprise herself as she pulls a piece out of the kiln where the vases are fired at more than 2,000 degrees. This one I actually like. This makes me happy. Stephanie says she's not selling art. She's selling pieces of her heart. And she's grateful for every ounce of success. So you can't expect that it's going to last forever. And it's just fabulous that it's happened at all for the time that it has.